Previously on Chasing Atlanta. I just want to know if he knew that he had a mate that he was going to spray the crowd. This is what Troy does. He creates situations that don't have to be. I wasn't in the fight. That talking loud thing really triggers you, I see. It does. I no, because he really, it's like he's making fun of me. I don't like that. Everybody want to be big dogs and big this. I like it. It don't take all that. What do you think this trip is going to get? I mean, it's going to be fun. I, I thought you and Rico was like, I'm not really familiar with him like that. So I don't really know Rico with a K like that, but he gives me super fan vibes. Like, oh my God, I love you. I love everything you do. I love your music. And I can't really tell if it's genuine or not. Do you want to become a trans woman? No, like I don't want titties. I wear women's perfume. I get my nails done. Like, do I talk to somebody? Like, is there like a test I take? You just gotta really honestly sit with yourself. Can't nobody tell you about who you are. Because a lot of people get a misconception, especially, you know, cisgender women, into thinking that all trans women aspire to be, you know, women or whatever the case. I identify as a trans woman. It took a lot of, you know, soul searching and back and forth in my mind to make sure that I was absolutely doing the right thing. I like being a boy. I like myself, however, I didn't find myself attractive. I have to make sure that I'm ultimately in love with the person with, with me on the inside before I can change whatever it is on the outside. I'm just expressing, you know, expressing something that I kind of feel comfortable with doing. That's the reason why I don't, I don't like to show my personality in a sense. So tonight we are celebrating my birthday! <laughs> it's literally shit in my area, honey. I feel better like than I did at first. I think I just kind of kept myself busy at first. Willa is very strong. You can just tell that she's going through a lot mentally and emotionally. And I'm just trying to figure things out and I'm just trying to keep making her proud. We ready to go to Tennessee, have a good time? Yes, yes I am. Yeah, me too. Okay. Love, relax, and release, bitch. Hello. <laughs> relax, relate, release. <laughs> So y'all, today is the day of my casting call for my big launch. I am finally launching the house of Jay Moore. It's nine years in the making and the time has finally come. To help me pick out my models, you know I have to call my good girl Willa because she about to be slaying up and flipping up and pressing out that good, good hair from me in the back. Love her for that. And I also have to call up my mentee Savion who will also be showcasing in the show as well. It's time to see some models. Let me see if you can walk, walk, walk. Well, Hello. How are you guys? I'm good. Hi. What's your name? Christian. Oh, hi, Christian. I am Javon. I am designer behind Jay Moore. So we're gonna have you walk back to, back to that back corner and then walk up to this and then go back. All right. Yeah, that's what I've been needing. <laughs> Jay really got them on the fire or whatever. Them folks, you know, they can't mess up in there. He wants a very nice, clean fashion show. But that Melanie God is baby with the natural hair baby. She was very clean cut. I liked her. I'm not no model or nothing like that, but seeing these other people come on in and do a little walk, I shit, I might sashay down the wrong way. Hello, no time. Okay, uh, uh -huh. for Jay. For Jay. Mm -hmm. That's me. This is from Miss Ashton Moore. You want to wish you had Valentine's Day? You sorry you couldn't be here, but I'm here on that one. Oh, that is beautiful. So y'all, it is actually Valentine's Day weekend, and this is throwing me off. Um, I'm actually leaving after this to go home to my grandmother's funeral. So my man, I told him not to come in town because I'm leaving, and. Okay, I'm a crybaby. He sent me something. It was sweet. It was cute. I don't know what else to say. 
Oh, and you was just for that. Oh, you was just talking about your plan. See, look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, we're ready for. Hey, y'all. Oh, hey, y'all. Oh, hey, y'all. 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 Hey,
and I wish I really could enjoy it like I want to enjoy it. But bitches then got on my goddamn nerves to goddamn drive down here. So I just needed to get somewhere where I could talk to a higher power and everything is going to be all right. Yes, indeed, Lord. Look at what you blessed me with today. And I bless you. I came up this mountain to save my goddamn marriage. And I thank you, Lord. All this nature, it would only be befitting of me to pull out the nature in the nature. Yeah. Once upon a time, I had nine lives. I could, I could take, take the front and, and back the same night. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> girl, don't hit my arm, truck, girl. Jay, Jay. Now, bitch, you could have rented a car. And you got my brother Rico in that car with you. Now, if he wouldn't have made it, I would have had to beat your ass before this trip even started. Welcome. Come on, soldier. I left my bag. This bitch was driving in leather pants and shit. I had to be shit. We finally made it at the all the highways of all the mountains and all the hills. Jay's car did not break down. I ain't gonna hold y'all, was a little terrified. You know what I'm saying? But we made it here. This cabin is beautiful. And I just got word that I'm rooming with Troy. So <laughs> I can't wait to see what's going down tonight. Tennessee, what's up? I got my girl Cam with me. We done pulled up in the bins in true double mint twins fashion, and we are here. So I'm inside this beautiful cabin. I mean, the whole place is decked out, child. You got two stoves, two refrigerators, two everything. But then the girls talking about, so they picked their rooms already. Hold up. It seemed like the girls is being shady with this one. They probably got me in the basement with a girl that I don't even want to sleep with. Where is Oliver? Oh, bitch, not a ton of. Oh, no. Girl, girl, why is it so dark in here? Was that a bag? Girl, no. Stop playing. Oh. That was a bag. Oh, my God, wait. It's like, why do we have to go through this? I mean, if we get to fighting in the cabin, bitch, we get stuck. Because I'm not coming back down this mountain. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I got to come back down this mountain, that's it. She not coming back up. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. Oh, I think that's right. I'm not about that motherfucking thinking cap, goddamn. That's the shit right there, right? Right. Thinking caps. Did y'all bring out thinking caps? I got mine. Y'all get you, I bring out thinking caps. Everybody trying to get on the same page. Like, nothing should be really taken personal at this time. And I just felt like it just changed the energy for no reason. And saying that type of language to a bitch like me, who was probably smarter than all y'all hoes combined. So there are three things that I need to have in this life. The first being great sex. The second is not having anxiety. And then the last thing is being compensated for my time at all times. Amen. So if you're somebody that likes to have sex, but also doesn't want to have to worry about the constant anxiety about HIV and STIs, I definitely suggest checking out Project Peach. Um, they compensate you for your time. It's a paid prep study um, through Emory University. So if that's something that you've been thinking about, definitely check it out. Link is in my bio. And I'm nobody's influencer. So if y'all want to DM me, ask me questions about the study or anything like that, my DMs are always open. All right, that's all I got. Bye.
I finally make it going around all these curves and all these mountains and all these turns. And I'm supposed to be excited to see everybody. But honey, I'm so drained and so tired. And I finally get here at hell and feel like I'm in Neverland. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm ready to turn up. I love it. I need this closet right here. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay. I love this house. Everything is so beautiful. But it looks like me and Rico Cassidy is sleeping in the same room and there's only one bed. Hmm, he must gonna be sleeping over there on that little cot. Cause you know I gotta need my space in there. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking nerves. Yeah, because my nerves are shook right now. Girl, so my good sister Oliver done asked me to drive her up this mountain to come to some kind of retreat. I don't know what's going on, but I know one thing. I am black and mountains don't work for me. Cause that mountain, that, them here, they ain't got no rails. We pulling up and I see this big old cabin. I'm like, okay, these girls got money. I guess jumping from job to job does actually work. You know, coming to the cabins, I'm looking to save my marriage. <laughs> with nobody and it's like I feel like this is a great opportunity for all of us just to have fun let the pettiness go to the side forget about what's going on back in Atlanta and just have a good time for ourselves for ourselves really oh this is cute oh this is good my own bathroom yes ma'am oh so you sharing a room with one huh yeah hi go ahead somebody Okay, so now they done got me here. I see I'm stuck with them peoples. But the only good thing that came out of this is I get the room with Wayne. So y'all know this is what's about to happen, baby. I brought my cute draws today, baby. We about to. Oh, let me be good, y'all. I don't want to get in no trouble. Now, as everyone's arriving, I'm really hoping we're all on our best behavior. I did say we because I'm working on myself. But these other girls, you know why you're here. You know who you're here for. So act accordingly. Because, bitch, I heard a couple of y'all had trouble getting up this mountain. So you and your shitty pamper better keep it cute. Like some nice spaghetti. And catfish. Oh, yes, Lord. When is it possible? Tomorrow? Is it possible we can just get, like, something, like, quick? That's just quick saying. for tonight, and then we can Instacart and deliver it to us in the morning. We taking options. That's why I'm saying we, we try to figure out what we're going to do. Yes, I'm going to pick up food tonight. Yes, we are going to do food tonight. We can do the brunch and all this. No, we don't need the brunch for you. I just asked it, though, but OK. You got it. So I am tired. And everybody else is saying that they're tired. So I'm like, let's get this list together so we can go to the store and I can get the shit so we can have groceries for the weekend because we're not going to be going back and forth to the damn store. Night number two. Spaghetti is done. No, that ain't what the hell we got. <laughs> tomorrow. Y'all supposed to be going The seafood. The seafood. That's fine. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. 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 And we don't we don't figure this out. That's not good to me. We just trying to figure out what we're gonna get people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's time to get now, I know this car ride may have been stressful, but girl, all we're trying to do is get together a lunch menu, baby. Everybody pump your brakes, take a breather, and let's just have a good time. Willa like doing a lot of storming. Like, she like that. She need to work for the Weather Channel. It's a lot of storming. I'm not understanding how you here for your friend Dominique, but you making it slightly about your self. Hey, how about this? Oh, 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 oh. This how we gonna do it. You know? This how we gonna do it. Who who's cooking brunch in the morning? You wanna cook brunch for me? Uh, I'm gonna say you wanna cook so, brunch. We got all three cooking. Okay, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So we're gonna cook brunch. Right what y'all cooking so we can know what to we'll, get. We'll make a menu. We already talked about a collective list of shit that everybody like to eat and the boys are supposed to be cooking the brunch shit. So I don't know why the fuck the brat is hollering at me about some shit about spaghetti or whatever the fuck. 
and cousin Skeeter motherfucking ass, you done already came in late than a motherfucker. And then you talking about how you want to come in and wash your ass. Oliver Twist, get out of my face. Dominique, move over. I can't have to check you all right. I'm good, man. Hey, yo, can I get everybody's attention? Can you come over here real quick? Who's that? Top talk. Top talk. Yeah, everybody in here. Check this out. This weekend, we're on an itinerary. Like, literally, we don't have any type of space to do anything outside of what is already planned. So we're all gonna go to the store, get the groceries and things that we need for tomorrow and for Saturday as well, tonight. Do the chefs have a, a menu for tomorrow? Did you hear what I just said? Listen, oh, there is no menu. Everybody. We think that the chefs should just, we think the chefs should just, just, the just money. get the money. Just, just get the money, right? Just Everybody got $20. So I'm saying, you know exactly like the amount to get for everybody. Like, I mean, you good with that? I'm like $20. I'm just, just asking. No, I don't see you know I love you. You, you. Cause we was doing it at first, right? We was doing it. Yeah, that's right. That's what I did. You just yeah. supposed to. Oh, I say God, Dwayne. I'm talking about a motherfucking thinking cap, goddamn. That's the that's the shit right there, Dwayne. Right. Thinking caps. <laughs> Bitch, who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> to the ground because first of all ain't nobody in here nobody mama or daddy and to receive respect you first have to give it and saying that type of language to a bitch like me who was probably smarter than all y'all hoes combined academically socially business wise all the above this is a test and I'm gonna pass it who goes to the store we're all in person. We, we, I was supposed to be driving to the store and get shit, and that's why I was making the list. But everybody said they want to do their own thing, but that was mandatory that everybody go to the store. People want to wash their ass. So we're going to wash ass, or so we're going to go to the store. Everybody got to go to the store. Okay, so we're going to have to go to the store. Hold on, Mr. Hanson. Yes, Can everybody just cash at me for $20? Yes. 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 Now, little do everybody know, before I came up this mountain, I already have a lot of personal shit going on. But for us to start off this trip arguing about groceries, that's not cute. This is my sister. I know she go through her period every first of the month. So maybe that's what's going on. But the last thing I want to do is get into it with one of my girls. I don't know how to approach, like, anger at this moment in my life. I don't. And that's on some real ass shit. And I'm not gonna get emotional, but like I got so much shit going on. I don't I don't know how to handle all this, man. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much energy. Like I just want positivity. Like it's no need for all of that. Like, and I'm I'm for real. You say you're not going to the grocery store. I mean, if y'all really want me to go, I would bust up the strength. But I really don't want to go. But I will go if y'all say all of it get in the car, I will go. Y'all going to Walmart right with Willis. No, I wanted this to come up. We going at you, yo. Yeah. What do you drink to I know that's not the water you drink. Oh, I'm not six foot, but I'm like six foot in the bed though. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about this Walmart trip. This Walmart trip is very mixy right now. You got bitches that don't even hang with each other that are in the same clique walking around the Walmart. Cause I guess everybody is not dealing with each other's drama. So it's just like, we gonna get in our groups, go shop this Walmart. But baby, it's a whole, <laughs> woo, it's a whole lot of mess going on up in this mud. Y'all okay over here? <laughs> Yeah, auntie. Oh, no, my Y'all put it in there. Hold on, you gotta stop. You gonna... I don't want to get your MCM bags now. <laughs> That's true. That's my mind. Oh, okay.
Listen, everybody got an attitude. Everybody mad. Everybody stained. Ain't no decisions been made. And I already know we finna be in Walmart a very long time. So, like Jocelyn Hernandez, I wanna ride. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna ride around. Okay? Tutu, beat me. Watch your feet. Cause, bitch, I'm bumping through. <laughs> yeah. What is the energy at the house? Like, I'm just trying to figure out what. Did y'all bring y'all thinking caps? I got mine. Y'all get y'all bring y'all thinking caps. It was uh, attention. I feel like it was That's unnecessary. The first time either. I'm just figuring. I feel like it just was unnecessary. All the groceries. I mean, I feel like I I understood like she was trying to get everything together, and then we ended up doing what she wanted to do regardless. But I feel like more patience just should have been exerted. Like. Right. We all just got here. We don't know what's going on. It's 13 of us. We all trying to pull it together. We all trying to figure it out. Okay, I look, I thought I was I thought I was tripping, but listen, Oliver feel the same way I do. You know what I'm saying? God forbid I would have said something and got my neck chopped off, but he sensed the same type of energy from Willa as well. Hopefully all of us can get together and get to know each other better just to kind of find out where that comes from and how we can handle each other. So it would, you know, so we can prevent things like that from happening going forward. Everybody trying to get on the same page. Like nothing should be really taken personal at this time. And I just felt like it just changed the energy for no reason. Are y'all okay? Y'all feel okay after what happened at the house? Y'all all right? I'm good. Y'all sure? Okay. Why did it get there? Like, I, I feel like this ain't the first time. Like, is this just who you are? And no, this is not. She's misunderstood in a lot of ways. Every time? But she has a lot. She's, she's still dealing with a lot. Okay, and then also, also, I got a question. So, is she like that because she want to be controlling? Or like, what's the vibe? No, like, I, I feel like she, she want to be heard. Like, nobody else, nobody, nobody like was that. listening. I just want them to get off Willa's like case. Like it's not even the, like the tea that they're trying to come figure up about her. Like it's not what it is. Like I can say like, is this who she is? Like Erin is trying to say, is this cause she wants to be controlling? Like what's so controlling about wanting to be respected? In a moment where you're talking and someone else and she's up there in front of the whole group and trying to project herself onto everyone to say what she has to say and y'all are still interrupting and having your own side conversations, that's disrespectful. So she just wanted some little respect. Like she's a lady, give it to her, period. <laughs> Oh, we I, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I don't want to be on Willow's bad list. I don't want to be on Willow's bad list. What was the question? Did I do something? Am I in trouble? Oh, no, not necessarily in trouble or whatever. You just, heck, I don't know. You just, I don't know. Maybe you was just loud or something. Maybe it was funny. Okay. I don't know, but he did something to my spirit. It was me. It was, was it only me? No, it wasn't just you. Okay. No, no, no. It was you. Well, I, I didn't know. I, I apologize. Know but no, it changed the spirit. I don't want you to accept it. Listen, we all have a lot going on. We all are going through things. That gives you no excuse to be anal retentive. But Jesus is talking to me. And again, I'm reminding myself of the reason why I came up here, which is to have fun with these people. So I am now choosing in this moment to extend grace to Miss Willa. Oh, thank you. I just don't want you to Enjoy you. yourself, enjoy your trip. No, but you my auntie. I just want to make sure you're okay. I, I want to have fun with everybody. Cool, cool like this. Like I'm all for folks keeping it real and anytime you want to know something about how somebody is feeling, if you feel like you want to ask, most definitely ask. And I definitely answered it in a way that I feel like wasn't going to make me feel like I was getting piped up or hyped up in any type of way. So I answered it in the best way I feel like I could around people anyway, because I don't want to dig deeper into whatever I felt or how I was feeling amongst the group. But other than that, I mean, we good, we cold, like the freezer. Sister. What is this we can't give it? This is scary. The people can't talk loud. I was talking loud. Wasn't everybody talking loud, including herself? You know, I told you what I'm here for. Get a drink and have a good time. I'm not letting this happen. They're not bothering me. Girl, Oliver, I'm not trying to get into it with nobody this weekend. I done took off four days of work. I done brought all this weed. I am not here for the bullshit, okay? You feel like she was doing the most, girl, I can't change your mind. But what I'm not going to do is get into the drama this weekend. Speaking of good times, Aaron, let me block you in so you can't even move. <laughs>
don't like to run away from stuff like this, y'all. <laughs> Aaron, what you and Troy was just doing over the night? What right. happened? You know she's a married it's woman. Been a long time, you know what I'm saying? What you mean, a uh, long time for what? Know, everybody got a man in Atlanta, I just wanted to catch up, you know what I'm saying? We just got like that vibe. We just got a vibe. Ain't nothing, it's all innocent. Uh, so here we go again. We at Walmart, y'all, and I am feeling butterflies once again. Now, I know y'all like, oh, I'm obsessed with Troy. I might be a little bit. I'm just flirting, having a little fun. You know, what goes on in the cabin stays in the cabin. All I'm doing is always open for the help. I'm helping everybody. <laughs> no, but you need to close your door. No, no that's your problem now. Open. Your door's is too open. My door's I'm out. crying. Your door's is too open. That's your problem right now. That's your problem. Your door's need to be open. That's no, I don't want my right doors now. open. I'm open scared. Your open your door. Oh my God. Spread them legs. Enjoy your life. For who? Oh, you never know. That's the point. You here for the weekend. You can pick anybody. <laughs> You ain't in Atlanta. What goes down in the cabin stays in the cabin. Guinness. No, no, special phone thing. Especially in that hot tub. It's special. Because I'm trying to get everybody to do this. Everybody going to find out what they do. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. Outside of, you know, that little situation last night. Are you okay from it? I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, why so much pressure? Then we just got here. You let her come in that bed and get her up underneath the covers. Don't oh, no. <laughs> like that. Oh, no. I realized that Drew was on one side of my bed and Kendra was on the other side of my bed. I was in, uh, uh, it was like a... Can I say something? I want I have something to say. I want to address uh, my dear Willa. to go out to the patio and have us a little doobie, you know, smoke a little one, two, calm our nerves, and I decided to also get in the kitchen and cook breakfast for all these bitches. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Isn't it beautiful out here? It's crazy to wake up and be here. I know. Like, that's the crazy part. Woo! Good morning. Today is a new day. Let's say our morning affirmations burn some sage, get this candle. Let me clean up. Maybe maybe if I clean up the energy, we'll just transfer to some good, clean, wholesome fun, you know? I feel like this is what we need right here. Watch. I really ain't never doing shit like this in my life. Yeah. I like this. You know, I'm glad you and Troy thought about me and, you know, got us out here. No, I'm excited. Let's go, y'all. You know, no, I appreciate it, because I needed this. This is outside of, you know, that little situation last night are you okay from it i don't know what the fuck happened and i don't always want to be the person like mm -hmm. it wasn't me it wasn't me but like girl i thought it was supposed to be just you know doing mm -hmm. brunch you know we gotta get a list and they were saying the boy's supposed to do brunch i didn't know nothing about that mm -hmm. you know that's why i was like why so much pressure and we just got here throughout all the confusion my boy rico has been there throughout it all like, I have been through so much with my relationship. Really deep down inside, I'm really hoping I make it down to Al. So, we'll see how this goes. Well, I just wanted to talk to you about something. What's up? I wanted to, like, drift away from the group. Mm -hmm. Just you and I for a little bit. Okay. If we could do that, just get, like, some personal time. I would like for you to deflower your mind, work on your vows. Yeah. Um, I know you mentioned yeah, I told that. You, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. Um, and I, I want to work on some music too, as well, and just like relax from everybody. Yes, all this fresh air. Yeah. Good energy. Yeah. You know. Most definitely. I mentioned to Dominique that I wanted to 
you know, get some personal time with him. One, because I know what he's going through. And I know I'm probably, you know, one of the few that know what's going on. Um, and I, I, I want to get him away from this environment of people. You feel me? Like, it's a whole bunch of drama. It's a whole bunch of negativity going on. I just want to sit with my homeboy and I just want to relax and just not worry about somebody saying some shit behind my back or worried about, like, just bullshit. I just want to chill and relax. But other than that, I hope that everybody, everybody just wakes up in good spirits because we're supposed to be going to this place called the island today. Mm -hmm. I found it. They got like a Ferris wheel, roller coasters, all these carnival games. So hopefully we could just have fun. That's what That's I'm hoping fun. that we can do because all this hostility is for the birds. It, it really, really is. Gross. Everybody's real sensitive. I don't know why. Maybe it's that time of the month for everybody. We'd be around each other so much. Maybe all our cycle on the it's same page. trip up here or something like that. You know? I don't know. That's but it, you know. <laughs> everybody take 10 steps back. Like, okay, calm down. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Drink, eat. We got more than enough food. Let's just have a good time. Because yeah. everything else really don't matter. I'm still drunk from last night. Okay. Yeah. Rise and shine, bitches. Round now. Oh, so now you feel like you want to get in the jaloux? No, okay. I'll get in at my own time. Child. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to get in. It was a bit crowded when you girls were out here yesterday. Oh, yeah. I forgot your good friend who forgot that with her. Who was that? Wilma. Wilma? Girl, I ain't about to get into it. We have a friend. All right, all right. It's it's the morning, and I am ready to start my day. I got my morning blunt. I my good Judy's is in the hot tub. I don't want to get in yet. Not right now. Great drinks, great weed. This is a great morning. I think today is the day for a lot of people to have conversations. Clear the air, so everybody can just have a good time. Amen. Hey, hey, Amen. Hey, no. Praise yeah. him. You gotta set the tone, child. For the rest of the trip, I ain't trying to be with somebody arguing about groceries to be actually. Oh, yeah. I think I'm doing some. Why y'all all men up so early? Hey, trust me, they won't meet up. Hey. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Why y'all all men up so early in this hot tub? Do we need to make room? <sighs> Didn't I just say I wanted to have a good morning? And in comes Jimmy the Cricket. Bitch. Why is she talking to me? I want to have peace and quiet. She just want to get a peace. I'm, okay, look, this is what we're going to do. I just came here to smoke and drink. So, I'm just going to put on a smile. And I'm going to entertain her. Because if I don't, I'm going to say something. And I might be having to go right back down that hill. So, let's just see where this goes. How was your night? Now, did you end up in my bed at one point? <laughs> first of all, first of all, let's talk about that. Am I uh, dreaming? Because, no, you're, you're not dreaming. dreaming. Okay. Let's, let's talk about that. Wait. So you were in the bed. <coughs> I remember being woken up and it was like Kendra and Drew was in my goddamn bed. First oh, of all, Lord. I don't know if it was a dream. It was, it was, it was a dream song. song. Come on, now, girl, now Cameron. A dream song. No, you let, song. you let her come in that bed and some, get her up best. underneath the covers oh, no. and get her up on me like that. Oh, no. <laughs> So Drew comes outside and it instantly lets me know that I was not dreaming. It, it, it's all coming back to me now. I thought I was having a, a crazy dream last night, but as I was trying to sleep the liquor off, I realized that Drew was on one side of my bed and Kendra was on the other side of my bed. I was in, uh, it was like a- Girl, what's going on at the bottom level? Like I the you cutting up with the girl? I was halfway there? asleep, I didn't know what happened. Isaac. Ramir. <laughs> Isaac, Ramia. What was wrong, Big Daddy Ike? That 9.8 can't handle the both of us? Hey, TT. What's up? Oh. What's going on? Okay. I know, yeah, we gonna have, we can have, a, you wanna have a conversation right Can we? We can talk, come on. They, 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 girl, y'all ain't had to turn around like that. Right, cause you didn't. Girl. Girl. Right. Well, first of all, I want to say I had more than, more than five people at my event. I did. Say that again? I had more than five people at my event. Oh, it didn't look like it. Well, it was invite <laughs> only, that's why. Oh, it was a V, it was a V I P P P situation. Yeah, I invited. Oh, okay. Me. I don't know if you got the conversation that we had at that table that night confused. Mm -hmm. Or you misinterpreted it. But I didn't I didn't talk negative about him. 
but I just I'm I just wanted to know whether the secret part the because y'all trying to figure out the same thing. Okay, because I've never said that I had a secret against the man. I don't know him. Okay, so can you say, TT, realistically, can you say that she went in that act with that in in that conversation? I was eating. Like, I was heated. I was okay. mad. I was mad. Okay. Because, because uh, for me, for you to go on a to not know me and to go on a platform like YouTube, something that is going to be out there mm. forever and dog me and not uh -huh. know who I am and call me all types of names and make fun of my name and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. In my head, I'm like, for what? What was the reason? Okay. And that's understandable. However, comma, he's heard it that you had this bomb to drop on him from several people. And one of those people is somebody that you're very, very close to. And the car explained to me the way his the questions were asked to him. He was like, well, shit, if she had it, she would say it. He never confirmed it. He's just saying he knows me, and he does. If I had that's something not, to say, delivered to Dominique from Carl. But that's how Carl said it and said it to me. And even that night when I turned and asked Carl, "What bomb or what did I say?" He said, "I never said anything like that." He did say that. Rico confirmed. I never said anything about Dominique. So at the end of the day, both of the parties that claimed mm -hmm. that I said something to this man. Both said in his face, I never did. Okay. Now, we all know what's been going on. Let's not act like we, we don't know. This woman right here has said something about me having a bomb. Bomb, the bomb, the bomb has been the biggest thing with this group. They're taking private conversations where people who know me are talking to some people that want to see if they can find dirt on me. Y'all are reaching, reaching. Why bring me into this? But you know what? It's cool. Because karma is a bitch. Okay. Well. If I can get y'all together, mm -hmm. do you think, do you think you coming in as level headed as this? Cause I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Do you think, okay, because realistically, real talk for real for real. Before you talk to him, he wants you to apologize to everybody about that main situation. Because that was unnecessary. I was tired. He I didn't mean, but can't so admit that that was wrong. Well, to be fair, I've individually apologized to everybody okay. about this. Because I, I inboxed um, Troy that night. Mm -hmm. And I even said in the inbox, I was like, I did not mean for it to go that far. I do apologize for what happened at your event. And if I do need to apologize to everyone else, I have no problem. I don't want smoke. I'm the sweetest, nicest person you can meet. So you bother me. I do apologize for if anything got to you misconstrued in what I said. I literally said what you said here and said to me. Every time it comes up to me where y'all see each other and it's the highest and try high. Like Yeah, that's really all it really was said. And to me that wasn't big deal. And it wasn't. Like I I like I said, I don't have like I wasn't upset about it. I was just like wondering, like What's the what's the issue? Okay. Um, you good. I'll talk to my homegirl. Okay. I'll talk to my hug right. me. You know that I'm a hugger. Oh, no, I like to hug things out. Doing that. Next time you have an event, let me know and I'll come in my rainbow fashion. Well, yeah, next time you have an event, don't tell the bar to block me from coming. Oh, because maybe. Because we did get back to me. <laughs> Uh, I knew he was gonna tell you. Mm. I said, like, "Oh, you might want to tell your homegirl that I got noticed at the door that if she come, call the cop." Yeah. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta, you gonna have to deactivate all that bullshit you have put into the world if you expect us to at least move me. forward. To sit here and put, I didn't mention nothing about your family. I don't know you. You don't know my living situation. So for you to, you didn't that know I'm living, living with my mother. I'm living with my mother because I was helping my just grandmother. Oh, yeah. it, it's oh. the fact that you even brought my mama in there. Just leave it alone, boo. You say you ride my nigga face, I say you live with your mama. Bitch, deal with it. you to listen to Girl Damn Podcast, where I examine my life and the world around me through a black, dark-skinned, fat, queer, trans feminist lens. 
Episodes are available now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and you can also go to the Girl Down Podcast Patreon page and become a member where you'll get access to exclusive episodes and interviews that are behind the paywall. So join me on this journey right now. Bye! Grab your mom, grab your sister, grab your brother, call your cousin, call your grandma, okay, and save the day! Child, this season is gonna be full of delusions. Girl, it look bad, well, honey, well. well. I don't even know this old lady from the can of paint. Oh my God! This season's gonna be some wild ass bullshit. Try me, bitch. Try me. Try me. You look bitch. This season is gonna take you for a ride. Do you have an issue with me sleeping in the home? No, I have an issue with people coming into the group for creating some Okay, I am that bitch. Okay, I'm always and will forever be that girl. So don't try it. Don't come up in here in this motherfucking room with ice and shit to you. You still trying to do that same lady? Shit with that late ass fan, and that's why you're getting the energy that you get. Oh my god! This is day two of the excursions. Everybody's out in their hair, girl. All of them Everybody's out in their hair. So, you know, we wake up the next day and the boys are preparing food for the girls. Clearly, I was still in the room because I was not preparing any food. But no, um, me, uh, Cam, and I, they're in the kitchen, you know, getting our breakfast ready for the wig brush today. Hey, baby, I know you see me with my Nikki shirt on, you know, my chop bob is giving. Stop playing with you. You know that I'm known for the, you know, you know how it goes. You know I'm a barb and I'm all the way in there, all the way. Yeah. Oh, oh. Y'all bitches are funny, okay? Where's I? What's up? Aikisha, you're right. Willa got me in this wig. I am looking like Holiday Heart. I got the bike Holiday. I got the bike Holiday. I got the bike. I don't know what is going on. I got my motherfucking Edna Mode bang bob going on. The lace is still on because my sister whipped this up and I ain't got the 350 to go ahead and give to her right now. So if I cut this lace, she gonna cut my ass and I need to be here for a good time. A lot of these boys is feeling these wigs, honey. They really into it. Nick got the little wedding wavy going on. Troy got the Dora the Explorer. Oliver got the Misty Blue Child. Cassandra got her old nasty little piece on. Let's just make sure all these wigs come back up, honey, since so many people look so comfortable in them. Dear God, we come to you today, Lord God, to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this time of fellowship and being able to be here with these amazing people. All of us as creators, Lord God. Lord God, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity. We ask that you bless these hands that prepare this food, Lord God, and bless the food for the nourishment of our bodies, Lord God. We thank you because there's somebody out there that's not eating, somebody that out there that's not fed, and Lord God, we are able to be fed. So in the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you and amen. Amen. Okay, pass the try. Pass the try. But Troy, you did say that yesterday though. Yes, I'll be on the front line. They said you wanted to be a you should have been a pastor. Don't come y'all really have clowns. Hey, y'all, you there. Y'all come here and cook like, <laughs> oh, y'all. Uh, my daughter don't be having no faith in no men, honey, in no Hello? damn kitchen, but y'all did that. Mm -hmm. Can I say something? I want. I have something to say. Oh, what you got to say? Oh, something is in my spirit. Oh, yeah. Oh. I want to address uh, my dear Willa. Oh. Uh, he said, oh, no. He said, Andre. No, no. Address. address. Oh, shit. So, All right. I know with us, it has, it's felt like, over the past couple of months that it's been kind of like pass and go. You know what I'm saying? We don't really interact. It's like a high and by. And I think that has something to do with our little, you know, exchange at my gathering. So I just wanted to clear the air because people are coming up to me and be like, you know, you might need to talk to, and I'm like, wait, I didn't think it was that serious, but I kind of feel the, 
you know, between them. That's crazy that you say that because people yeah. be coming to me with shit all the time. See, this is what I, the issue where we had was done when I left, like. Because I had met you before, like you was cool, like it wasn't right. no thing. Right. That's why I was so confused as to why it went left like that. But I was like, it just is what it is. Once I left, I, I just left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was. And I didn't know the energy after this, so I just say to myself, like, Insane. um. But it was like certain people. Well, I don't, bitch, I'm sorry. I don't throw nobody on the bus. But certain people come and tell me like certain things, like shady things from mm-hmm. your end. Shady I don't or know funny? What one, I took it as, I took one of them as funny, but I don't know, like, little stuff like where your friend is or something like that. And I'd be like, well, if he asked, then he could just speak. Like, if it's nothing, then it's nothing. But then the whole Wilma thing had came up or whatever. <laughs> now, granny, my friend was like, he probably called you Wilma because your hair was orange and the real <laughs> Wilma got one. I'm like, okay, so yeah, that shit was funny. That was funny. That was a key. No shade. That was a key. I let you have that one. That was hilarious. That was a key. So lose like my grandma, which is my best friend. I'm trying to still kind of maneuver me, and that may be coming off in my actions as well. So I do want to apologize. Well, I apologized last night, but I do want to apologize again to whoever was not around for the conversation last night because I. I can control my emotions for, for the most part, but when they get gone, it's just hard for me to reel them back in. No, I get it, because I lost my grandmother too, and that's like the biggest loss of my life. So maybe that's something we could probably and then, talk to. And when you sung the grow. song at, at um, Choice Event, I uh-huh. was like, this song right here. And I wanted to say something, but I'm like, we ain't talking. I know. But I was like, this song <laughs> right there, mm. about if you lost somebody yeah. and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, that's the one right there. That's so yeah, from this point, let's just. Make an attempt to get to know each other. Okay. And, um, <laughs> bury the hatchet. Oh, that's really good. Beautiful. Y'all are happy. Okay. After talking to her, I'm trying to figure out, does it seem like we have, like, made up? It's still kind of a gray area, but at least we're talking directly to each other now. So, you know, look, I like her, you know? The whole incident with me, I, I feel like, had I been in a different space in my life or wasn't going through something that I was going through that was so heavy, I don't think that I would have handled it the way I handled it. You know, Ike doesn't seem like he's a bad person. He doesn't seem like he's malicious or anything, have anything against me. I just felt tried or attacked in that moment. I'm willing to say fuck that just because of his courage to even try to make it right with me. I guess yeah. it's my turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're true. Oh. You know, when I, I know. What? Yeah. <laughs> At your event. What? I, I, I said to myself, you know, because it's been a lot going on. And I know I can't clearly. make it to everything. But I said, you know, when I got here, but clearly I have changed because I usually come with a strong approach. Because I was going to say, girl, I can't believe you got your ball headed ass in front of that camera and tried me, girl, at all of us. Yeah. What happened? Oh, you don't show up to nothing, sister. I said that I was a bit? Yeah. What's I don't right? recall that. No, I recall it. And I was like, <laughs> no, I recall it because I looked I at you. It. I said, yes. And we I said, no, at, yeah. But as soon as it, they started, it was like, hey, sister, how you doing? You don't show up to nothing. What did he say to me? Paint the picture, take me there. I said, oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl, but I know oh. I missed a lot, but I really got a lot going on. You know, and I'm working on myself. And being around you and everything, you are a sweet person. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that I'm taking the time out here to get to be around you and know you more. Because we ain't never did anything. Mm-hmm. You're right about that. So. Um, yes, I don't remember saying that I was event. If I did, I want to apologize. You'll see it. Yeah, we'll see it. Don't forget. And even then, that's <laughs> even when then, I'll still apologize again. Because if that was, you know, I'm, I, I want to get to know you. I want to build that sisterhood. You know? We got it. I fucked with you the long way, strong way. I, I changed, baby. I'm trying. So, like, I mean, I, no, I do appreciate you coming to me and um, bringing it up. Because yeah, like, you are a sweet person. You are. Oh. So if I, you know, didn't anything, when you put that, when you put that oil on my uh, ass, you know, let me tell you, she's not going on that video. She said, uh-uh, where the oil? I said, oh, she's sweet. Because I believe in you. Now, like I said, I'm so glad that I took the time out to get to know Drew. And to tell y'all the truth, she's really a wonderful, beautiful person inside and out. She got a short-term memory, though. You know, for somebody that's always doing shit and you can't remember, I have a problem with that. 
you know, but it's okay. I'm just gonna sweep this under the rug. I'm sure she won't get her bald-headed ass in front of another camera and try me. Now, I did have a question. Oh, sorry. And I wanted to wait to everybody who was together. And I'ma say names, because y'all know I'm not that type of girl. I don't give who said this and all that. I'ma say names. So it was brought to my attention when Kendra and I was out with Troy. Mm -hmm. um, it was brought to my attention that Troy said it may come up, but I'm gonna bring it up so it can be talked about and just put to rest. Mm -hmm. That um, during the night of y'all's situation, I was accused of knowing that Rico was going to do what he did. I never said you were had, accused. I said people <coughs> thought that you may have. I mean, but that's an accusation. To you did that to fight though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, b before we get to that, a thought. That's the accusation that was believed that I thought that he had Maze and I knew he was going to fight. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to put it out there to say, whoever thought that, did you want to talk to me about it? Here we go. This is how the shit always starts. Move past it. It ain't that deep if you ain't do it, period. Well, you know, at my brunch, um, I did talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, no. No, okay, approach, say, approach, yeah, okay. approach. No, me and Oliver, we good. Okay. He, he already know. We already talked about know. this. Yeah. We talked at my brunch before Troy even said something to him about it. Mm -hmm. Now, what I haven't done is talk to Troy about, you know, the <laughs> fact that he did bring that to you because I feel like that's something I should have talked to you about. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's my bris. So, you know, when he feel the need, he do step in from time to time. As I should have. Right, and I agree. But you. like I said, I asked you that because the last thing I want is for us to get to a point where we begin to pull weapons on each other and I agree. people know about it and it can, can't be diffused. You know, I mean, look, Rico's here right now. Rico's right, we'll go address the elephant in the room. Did, I was just trying to let everybody get did, it out. Did, if you can tell the truth, did I know no, that you had Mace? Oliver did not know that I had Mace. I, to be fair, the Mace is always on my keychain. That's nothing that's new. I've always had Mace on my keychain. So. Oh. No, Oliver did not know. I will apologize if if I injured anyone or anybody got affected by the mace. I do apologize for Indeed. that. Um, <laughs> the situation, and like I explained, I felt like I was being approached aggressively first. I don't care if you short, small, whatever. Don't roll up on me and start demanding things from me. You asked me to drop my pen, Rico. Like we gotta, if we're gonna unfold it, we gotta unfold the whole thing. Yeah, you I asked also you to drop asked my you pen. what was the reasoning for doing it all in the first place that you because never answered you, that. I, you I, never answered why I, you even spoke I, on me to begin with. What you asked, what you asked, y'all can that. answer you now. We talking? What's but the yeah, that was what, and I asked you that night. What was the reasoning for all of why it in the, the first reason? place? Um, the reason was because we were conducting an interview trying to promote something that you're a part of. And it was more so of a key key in the moment. But did I think it was gonna to turn to all that? No, we have had arguments, we have went back and forward, but nobody has never pulled out no weapons around here. And I just don't think that's Bitch, okay. Bitch, please, yes they have! That, that, I mean, that ain't, that ain't you used it. What, yes I mean, they have! I mean, well that is true, but I mean... <laughs> so yeah, to, be fair, I mean to be fair, to be fair, it ain't no, it ain't no right way to argue. It ain't no, it's no right way to argue, first of all. But now, let me be real with you, but now, yeah, but now girl. things are being seen and now family want to get involved and my thing is I've told everybody back the fuck back because no shade if I want to like mace you today that's what I want to do I'm trying my best to have a civilized conversation with this man and we're still playing the blame game you still want to throw out threats you still want to go back and forth you approached me you got bad information and instead of being an adult, you wanted to come check me over something that ain't got nothing to do with me. Everybody, family, Anthony, you put him in a song. That shit was disrespectful. And for us to be here celebrating my love with my fiance, and you're here, you came in, you didn't speak to me. It's cool. That's me. Because you, I'm not gonna walk in here and act like we all hunky dory. We Until not. we sat down and had a conversation, it was. It, I feel like it was to be. It was be fake for me to act like, hey, how you doing? Okay. No. I'm a, I'm a real ass bitch. If I don't fuck with you right now, I'm not fucking with you. Okay. But if I'm gonna talk with you, I'm gonna talk with you. And like I told him, I'll say But do you know why you came up the mountain? I, I, no, I was asked to come. I was asked to bring Oliver. Oh, okay. 
You was extra brand. Oliver. I mean, Oliver was going to be here. <laughs> but no, I'm not okay. I'm not trying to be phony or fake about anything. The situation was fucked up in the first place. I don't know you. Even if we on the same show or nothing, I'm not going to joke but about But you telling people gonna, you stomped me out. Like, girl, I don't never said well I ain't stomped nobody you out. That's that just a song. Yeah. You're going to have to deactivate all that bullshit you have put into the world if you expect us to No, 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 sweetie. Forward. You have to understand. You had to, You could have stopped this at the beginning. By doing what? When I asked you in your inbox, what was the issue? You could have explained. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. It's not what you think. Da, 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 da. It's a joke. You said you I ain't no, Travis. You just, you, girl. It's, no, the first you thing did. I said in your inbox. Box. You're yelling. I saw the you're video. Yelling. You're yelling. Because you're you're, 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 you're deflecting. And no, it's not, I'm not. Right I'm trying to drink juice and eat biscuits and Rico and Dominic just going back and forth. And I'm just like, why do we keep rehashing something that we will never get to the bottom of? A bitch already got their ass up. Just let it go. Let it go and just let it be. Please. You I'm not. Can I say this? Can because I be it's very irritating. Real? Because I'm very real. I, I, I ask. I well, ask. Rico, Rico can I say this? And I, I was sitting there watching this both unfold, and a lot of people sing it. Y'all too, because I'm going to be real with both of y'all. Y'all may not like what's coming out my mouth, but it, it just is what it is. Dominique, I can't really speak to whatever happened, whatever was going on in this secret meeting at the tavern or whatever happened. I don't know. I was not there. But I, what I will say is when you were on TTV, because I was there. Right. And you notice I got very quiet. Right. It oh. was antagonistic. And okay. coming from somebody who was mad with Wayne going on social media, posting about you and talking about you, you didn't like it. And so... It kind of flew my. It kind of it kind of was like, well, damn, how can you be mad at Wayne and like be upset with him and a uh, Kendra and all this other stuff? But you mm-hmm. kind of did the same thing to Rico. You did kind of start something. You took a private conversation and you placed it in a public platform for everybody to commentate and, and feel away. Understood, sister. And I told you when that happened, how you needed to conduct yourself and not and not agitate the situation. And you did agitate the situation. You read me those messages to him, and I was like, "Well, girl, what what do you expect to happen after this? This isn't this isn't." And I feel like both of y'all got to take responsibility for that. I, At I, some I, point, y'all I missed up. Like, and to be quite honest, all the shit that came after that really don't even fucking matter. Like, just it take responsibility good, for right. what happened at at oh, in part. Can, uh, whether can, give me one second, whether you meant to do it, whether it was an accident, whether you was being petty, just take responsibility for what happened in the beginning and just wash all the other shit away. The song happened, the fight happened, all this stuff happened. But what we gonna do now? Because my mama got. In if I put in this, I just want to get this out. For you to sit here and say that I disrespected your man and all this, you put my mother on. You talked about you my mother. I said you with your mama. Is that not true? You know what? I can't I'm asking the question. Ask you, baby. To sit here and put, I didn't mention nothing about your family. I don't know you. You don't know my living situation. So for you to, you didn't that know I'm awesome. living with my mother. I'm living with my mother because I was helping my grandmother. It's the fact that you even brought my mama in this. Just leave it alone, boo. Now we're starting to see his true character. You want to talk about my mom. I'm sorry my mother loves me and I love my mother. I'm sorry that I'm trying to go high and you're still trying to go low. You're you're really the scum of the earth. Like you really deserve everything you get. Now I felt bad, but now after sitting here having this conversation, I just want to get it over because I actually came up here with an open heart and an open mind. And this little, he still wants to go low. And instead of you just being a man and having a conversation and apologizing for your part in this, you want to keep going back and forth. So, baby, check yourself before you get wrecked all over again. Rico, you, like, talk to him. Talk, talk, talk. What do you need from him right now? An apology. An apology. Now, did I hear this correctly? Girl, you want an apology from me? See, that's why you wanted to apologize. So I can apologize to you, but no, girl. You say you ride my nigga face. I say you live with your mama, bitch. Deal with it. I just apologize for mine. I, I said I saw. Do you take responsibility for, 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 for the fire? I take responsibility for what. Do you I take responsibility for the fire? No, ma'am. It didn't have to be all that. And if he wanted to jack, he could have just said that. It turned into like a nigga three times my size jumping on me. I don't like that. But I'm saying this when he when he, he said that he was supposed to give you an apology, and he was like he was not gonna. Uh, Rico asked for an apology. 
I did. And you was like, bitch, I'm not giving. And Rico said, don't, don't, you know, watch that bitch bread. And you read up deep from yeah. your esophagus. It was and called that bitch bitch. And no shade, this is just me talking. Because it was a, a misunderstanding. It could have stopped right uh, there. But then once it was like, oh, bitch, I ain't apologizing. You whack ass rapper, da da da. It started going. And at that point, I it's felt like it just no wanted it just wanted to be an argument. It, it was a, 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 a misunderstanding that could have just been handled right then. Okay, let oh, me just go outside and mace her and we could just move on. Why are you having trouble accepting his apology? Um, it was just too deep of a cut to, to come back from. Next time on Chasing Atlanta. I do feel like our friendship was kind of a little altered yeah. because of this situation. I couldn't talk with nobody else. Right. But, but I. He's coming into this room because he wants to front and put on a fucking show. At the end of the day, me and Kim were never fucking. At the end of the day, we were fucking. They were. And that's on period. They were. I oh knew my that. God, this looks so good. Cameron, you have had a lot to say. Oh, shit. I feel like people choose to get shit started. Yeah, because of your question. I'm gonna hit up my counselor. I'm gonna hit up Ant. And we gotta figure this thing out. Because if it don't work today, I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the future.